this is Solar PV TV once again from InterSolar Europe 2017 from Munich. And now we are together with Jan Klinke, who is the managing director of PV Cycle. So first, Jan, thank you so much. Thank you, Thomas. <laughs> for the support. So PV Cycle became recently the partner of Solar PV TV, but also Solar Future today. So Jan, even we are still so young, mm -hmm. but it's quite a lot of years actually when we started working on PV Cycle. Yeah, it's correct. It's um, the 5th of July. It will be exactly 10 years ago since uh, PV Cycle has been uh, founded and created by five uh, private companies and two uh, solar associations, the German and the European one. And uh, so, yes, it's a long ride. And, uh, and on the other hand, Bo, you still look young. And it seems to be from time to time that people are saying to me as well, you still look young. So uh, it's, it's probably recycling and taking this into account uh, keeps us young. So that's, that's quite positive. But we still have a lot, a lot ahead of us and a lot in front of us. So, Jan, I remember because uh, I was also a bit involved in the uh, association bylaws, etc., etc., and it was at the beginning like an association who was aiming and setting up the uh, recycling system uh, within uh, the European Union. Yeah, and the idea, the first idea, was really to anticipate towards the European legislation and how the organization um, evolved during these ten years. Well, correct. Uh, so we, we, we went from a voluntary um, initiative uh, under the scope of a non-for-profit association. We went to um, an organization who is now offering WE compliance. And WE is, is an abbreviation for Waste Electrical and Electronic Equipment. Uh, so it's a mandatory legislation in Europe which uh, obliges um, people who are selling for the first time a PV panel in Europe to also organize the collection, the recycling and the financing of those two activities. So it's correct from in PV cycle from something which was a voluntary commitment for the industry due to a change in the legislation, uh, it's now a must. Um, so that's yes, that's a huge change during uh, those 10 years and that's also what we had uh, to, to uh, execute within PV cycle and uh, the staff in place. So um, yeah, it was a, a huge challenge for all of us. Uh, so. For me, I'm only the one who's coordinating a lot of things, but it's mainly the staff who had to uh, yeah, change a mindset as well. And um, But so far, um, yeah, we are happy to celebrate the 10 years. So, at the beginning, of course, uh, it was, let's say, like an anticipation towards the European legislation, yes? So you were more acting on a European level, yes? And now I think that you are more focused on the uh, local markets, yeah? And you are more... Uh, specialized uh, and having different activities depending on the regulations and the specificity of the countries, yeah. yes? Yes, correct. So it's, it's also due to this uh, WE directive, which has been transposed in, uh, in 28 laws, let's say, that we uh, also were obliged to split ourselves in 28 pieces. So it's the reason why you now have PV Cycle Germany, PV Cycle France, Italy and so on. Um, yes, I... I it was more fun when it was all single and one solution and one uh, cost. Now we have to explain to the industry it's several costs and it's split it amongst countries, which makes it uh, yeah, much more difficult to explain. Um, but OK, that's, that's the, the consequence of this law, which in fact is also applicable in Europe to TV sets, radios, washing machines, uh, freezers. So at the end, you could also state well, solar panels are not alone. Uh, with this obligation, but it's uh, yeah, it's a quite huge administrative burden. Uh, on the other hand, bon, it's also a, a nice added value for the industry because you can now really claim that you uh, offer cradle to cradle solutions, uh, double green, and double green. So um, that's that's a really an, an additional, um, I would say, marketing advantage. Uh, you have as, as a renewable energy product that you can really state to your customers we are closing the loop and, and you can make a difference there with other renewables because some other renewables are not under this legislation um, yet or um, at least will maybe never come under this legislation so on that point you can really claim to, to, to the customers, your customers that uh, what you sell today will be properly managed uh, in 20, 25 years to come. So how does it work actually? Because before it was based on the membership, yeah? so there were members who were paying the membership fee to the organization and then you were organizing within this budget 
uh, the activities of the organization. And how does it work? Uh, what is the business model? I imagine it's different on, in different countries, yes? In, in general, it's the business model is quite the same. So the, 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 the company who is selling a PV panel in a country needs to comply with this legislation, needs to show that he uh, organized collections, recycling and the fin financing of it. And uh, the, the external part is that everybody is familiar in the European countries with the so-called recycling fee. Mm -hmm. So, and yes, this recycling fee is a bit different per country, also due to the legal requirements per country. Um, but that's the, the best point we all know as, as citizens in Europe. If you buy a washing machine as well, you pay 100 euro for the machine plus a recycling fee. The same now applies to a solar panel. Um, so I would say that's, that's in general, it's more or less the same. It's only in the details which are a bit different and it's then mainly the detail of the cost which is, uh, which is different country per country. So which are the major, uh, let's say, countries in which uh, you are operating? France, Germany, Italy, yes? Yeah. Yeah, the major, so the, let's say also the major PV markets, France, Italy, uh, Germany, the UK, uh, also in Belgium we are active, Netherlands, uh, and then we have partnerships with, for instance, uh, Spain, uh, Portugal, Switzerland, Ireland, so all the other countries uh, we have local partners we, we cooperate with, but of course we follow uh, the major uh, PV markets. But for example, if uh, some company is joined, because you have still association, yes? Yeah. So... I understand that the company, they can join uh, the organization, yes, and then afterwards they are working with your local uh, subsidiaries or your local partners, yes? Yes, well, you have... You know, just uh, to explain in how does it work in practice, yes? Yeah. Well, there are two things. You have the association, yes, and there you are. You can become a full member, and that's really to uh, to to govern the association. So the governance of the association, and then you have also voting rights on the general assembly, and you can elect a director in the board of directors. So let's say that's more the governance part, but then you have also the most important part the contractual relation you have with pv cycle association that's just a contractual uh, agreement and in this agreement it said okay this is the recycling fee you need to pay and for this you are offered collection recycling services and the guarantee towards the the, the authorities that we report the numbers you have put on the market you have sold that they are timely reported to the authorities uh, that we also can state this company is compliant with the law so that's what we all do for uh, for the under this contractual agreement but it's different is a bit it's a different subject than the governance of the association so the governance for those companies who are willing to do this kindly invited yes to to help us because we cannot uh, do this completely alone you need a board of directors you need a general assembly who at least you uh, also show some resp responsibility to i'm i may be the managing director but at the end i also have to report to bodies and that's then the board of directors and the general uh, assembly so um, but on the other hand it's also companies who can uh, allocate some resources because it also takes time of course um, being member of the board and being a member of the uh, I think it's great because you have like a daily feedback yeah what yeah. is needed actually and what is the situation yeah? yeah that's 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 correct and also you have input from um, from your m members uh, due to the General Assembly, the Board of Directors, you know, you can understand what's going on in the market, uh, what, what is uh, a hot topic in the market and etc. Uh, but the same applies to uh, uh, visiting InterSolar and, and, and similar um, exhibitions and conferences to feel a little bit what is the temperature in the market. So um, it, I, I get my information from a lot of sources. Okay, Jan, so uh, you are first uh focused on uh, European market yeah? and mm -hmm. of course you have a lot of work yeah? because it's like 28 different uh, different legislations even if they comply with the European law yes yeah. but um, do you also plan or do you also have some activities outside yes yeah? so let's say like on the mature markets but also on the emerging markets so it's a very good momentum where we also now um, uh, promoting and launching our global uh, membership so um, except Europe, where there is this weed legislation and this mandatory legislation, um, we, can, we offer the services now on a voluntary basis throughout the globe. 
and so now people can uh, obtain to that PV Cycle Global Membership Certificate, which allows them to, uh, to have the same services or at least the collection and the recycling uh, in other countries and in other regions of the world, wherever it is, excluding of the European Union, uh, due to the mandatory requirements over there. But, but yes. then you have partners who are working with you, or how does it work? Correct. So we have, uh, we have everywhere uh, local partners which are doing the job on our behalf. Um, and okay, that, that's also why we can uh, immediately uh, react and, uh, and, and, and if there is waste uh, generated, we can organize the collection and organize the recycling. Um, of course, we then have to deal about the details, uh, how it is done and etc. and how it is organized. But yes, we have local partners. This is the, the, the interesting part now that we have a complete global network to do this. So which are the markets, let's say, outside of Europe, the first focus? Well, the main markets are, uh, are, are China, Japan, uh, India, USA, and then also uh, South America for the moment, um, yeah, Chile, Mexico, uh, but okay, every country in, in South America starts to ramp up in, uh, with PV. Um, and also, yeah, regularly we have uh, more and more questions from the Middle East. Uh, Africa is also uh, co contacting us. So, in fact, we see that it's, um, oh, it's really global, global business. Global business, yeah, correct. Okay. So, Jan, uh, I wanted to speak a bit about the, your vision for the future, but uh, tomorrow you will be in the panel discussion. So, let's uh, give opportunity to our viewers to listen your point also in the other discussion. Okay, so thank you so much. And uh, we wish you all the best in the global expansion. Also, we'll help you with our global viewership. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for watching.